What's up guys, JFM here, welcome back to another Minecraft Pocket Edition Survival Let's Play episode. Today, I'm extremely excited, I have a ton of awesome stuff to do, three different comments, and I've already started because I was already recording this Let's Play, and uh, and basically what happened was, is uh, is the Let's Play failed, and it just, it just stopped recording, so I'm very upset, I already did a few things, so it's gonna have to take a little while to explain, but um, hopefully you guys will understand and we can move along with the let's play so first thing I did in the last episode was I basically combined a few of my pickaxes uh, CJ Bradley commented on the last episode I'll put it up here he said combine the two efficiency four picks to get an efficiency five on breaking three pick and that's exactly what I did I combined two of those and I called it the the, the speedster I called it the speedster then I combined the speedster with the loot giver which is the pick I used to to have it was just like a looting three with a few other things on it and I combined those together and got the speeding loot giver and this has unbreaking three a fortune three and efficiency five and that's that that combination right there is why my levels are so low and I don't think I combined anything else maybe I combined uh, no, uh, yeah, I don't think I did anything else. So that's all I did with the enchanting. And so it, it wasn't that big of a deal. I just lost a few levels, and now I have this superpower of a pickaxe. I also still have my other one that is, um, Silk Touch, but, um... You can't, you basically, you, you, there's no point in combining Silk Touch and Fortune. I don't even know if you can. So, now I have this epic, epic, epic... Uh, pickaxe, and it's very, very cool. I also got two other suggestions. Uh, the other suggestion was from Little Caddy Gaming, and he said, make a mill. Uh, no, excuse me, make a well, and the other one was from Dylan Redcop, and he wanted me to make a windmill. If you guys remember, I had a huge forest right here, and I took a flint and steel. Do I still have it? No, I think I used it all. And I burned the forest down. It was very cool. It was the first time I ever burned something down. It was scary. It was fun. And unfortunately, it uh, it didn't it didn't save the rec the recording didn't work so you guys missed out on that it was pretty entertaining stuff but I didn't get any logs from it so I guess it wasn't worth it it was it was pretty cool though it was pretty cool though I have to I'll have to find something else to burn down later on but uh, yeah that was that and this whole area is where the windmill is going to be um also I had this started up and this is the well that Mr. Little Caddy Gaming wanted me to make. Now I started this and as you can see I got pretty far and then I realized that the recording wasn't working so I stopped and that is as far as I got wow. in the recording that you and I will never see again. <laughs> <laughs> so now what I want to do is I guess I want to polish off this build and uh, and then I guess I could try to start on making the fields that that the lovely lovely windmill is going to be in because I do have a I have a different I have a different plan for this I really do I have a pretty weird plan I don't know if you guys are gonna like it or not or what the deal is gonna be but um I want to make basically that whole area over there I want to change this to a different farm maybe beets. Yeah, I'll do beets or something like that. Be beets, that sounds like a good idea. And I want to change this all to a rolling hills wheat farm with terraces and stuff like that. And then I want to put the windmill maybe like right up here. I think that's how I want to do it. And I hope it works out like that. And I, I guess I could start this episode. If I have enough time, I will start this episode. But for now, I just wanted to clean up this uh, a little bit and put some of these extra grass blocks I had for my silk touch, uh, silk touch pickaxe. And, uh, and I guess we can continue working on this. Now, this well is a design that my friend showed me, my friend in real life, my IRL friend, and um, I like it. I like it. And I really want to make it work on here. And it's going to be pretty cool. So basically, what all you got to do is it's 9 by 9, uh, and then you may... I don't know. You just look at it. Just look at it, and you guys can see. You got to use a few stairs, a few full blocks, a few logs, a few stairs in here. It's not too complicated. I wish I had the old recording because I basically gave you guys a step by step. But for now, uh, you'll just have to, I guess, eyeball it and go along what you see. And then eventually, once the next download day spins around, you can basically just check it out from there. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty awesome build. If I ever find a link to it, I don't know if he, I don't know if my friend made it up or he found it somewhere. Uh, if I find a link to it, I can link you guys to that as well, but this is it, so um, let's see what we can do, do I want to actually oh, no is there a way, uh, I don't know, I don't know anyways, I'll take that, now I gotta see what is the next stage for this build, and I'm just shaving a few of these wood blocks, and I'll finish this off, so I basically just added a 
smaller a beam around this edge. And I'll go ahead and get rid of the dirt that I used to make sideways logs. And I think it should look pretty good. So we'll do this really quick. I also got to get rid of some of this. I don't know. Is this tree still alive? Is there so Ah, there's a piece of wood right there. Okay, that's what that one's from. So I'll get rid of that piece of wood uh, just with this pickaxe here. No, this regular axe. And uh, that one should be good. I think that'll decay. Now I gotta get rid of this one as well. And this is a bigger tree, so it may take a little while to get rid of. But uh, this is also gonna be a little bit in the way because I do wanna make a roof on this well. So I'll have to get rid of that. And um, okay, I think that may be good. Is there anything else that's gonna be in the way? Uh, make sure there's nothing up here. I think I'll be good. I think I will. I think I will. With that, with that, with that, yeah, with that taken off, I think I should be good. So uh, let's jump down. You guys can see exactly what I did. Uh, we'll go down this way and like this. And um, oh, let me grab that. <laughs> so that's what I did just then. I basically added a layer of logs on top of it. Now what I want to do is I think I'm going to need to make a few different uh, oak, oak planks and oak stuff. So here we go with our first thing, the oak, what is it, 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 the oak planks do I need? Where? Yeah, because I think what I have to do is I have to cap this off so you can't see the edge of the dirt. That makes sense. I think that's what I need to do. And, uh, and then I'll add a little bit of a roof to it. I'm not sure how good this is gonna look, but I'll try it. Okay, so I think I'm wrapping up this part. Okay, so basically, oh, there's just a little bit more I gotta do right here. So what I did was I added the, the upside down stairs uh, that I think you guys may have seen. I don't know, I don't know. I added upside down stairs uh, on either side of the plank block that I added, and then I just added regular stairs like that. And what I think I gotta do now is just fill up the sides a little bit more, and uh, we'll see from there, we'll see from there. But I think I may wanna, you know what, let me just bring this, uh, let me just bring this uh, crafting table upstairs with me, so it'll make it a little bit easier to build with. And I'll go this way, like this, and then we'll jump up, and uh, that should be good. So I'll add it, right, uh, we'll just put the, we'll just put it right there. Good, good, good. And a quick journey to grab some spruce wood is gonna help out just a tad, just a tad. Uh, do I need to go, yep, I need to go a little bit higher here. Up a few, and uh, that should take me to the tippy top where I can grab the rest of this tree. Oh, just needed one more. Okay, I'll go back down now, and uh, I'm gonna make a sprint back and hope I don't die by a creeper, skeleton, or, or anything like that. Oh, look, there's a zombie already. Zombie already, anything else? This is, you know, we can take this guy on. We can take this guy on. Let's show him who's boss. Test out our new sword here. Too easy. Too easy. Too easy. All right, so um, now what I'll do is I'll craft some of those logs into lovely, lovely, gorgeous, gorgeous spruce planks. And I'll use that in this build a little bit. Uh-oh. This is actually hard now. This this parkour is hard now because of all these blocks. I don't have a lot of room. But, um, okay, they're good. They're good. Good, 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 good. Okay, so... What I gotta do now is I gotta make a few spruce planks. I'm talking eight. No, I actually probably need more. But um, anyways, what I'll do is I'll put these planks like this and like this as well. And that is going to add a little bit of depth, hopefully. And I'll do the back side later. But I hope that's going to add a little bit of depth to the build. So this is what I have for, yeah, this is what I have now. And uh, yeah, okay, that's a little bit of depth. I like it. Now I gotta continue with the roof. But it's pretty good. It's pretty uh oh. Uh oh. We got a zombie trying to come kill me once again. What when are they gonna learn? I don't know. I I, I don't know. I don't know when they're gonna learn. But we'll continue on with the bit. Okay, I'm just grabbing this last piece of tree, and I think I should be good to show you guys the main part of this build. And I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Okay, so I've got a few more logs now, which is going to allow me to finish off. Not the whole build, of course not the whole build, because I haven't done this side of the this side of the roof, but at least the side of the roof that you guys will see uh, for now, and then I'll do the rest off camera. But um, I want to make a few of these, and then what do I need? What do I need to finish this off? I need stairs, I think. I need a, at least a few stairs. So I'll make a few. Uh oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I needed to do. That's not what I needed to do. I don't need to waste the logs. Please don't waste the logs. So I'll make a few stairs. And there'd be like one set of slabs just in case I need that. And I should be, oh, I already had a ton of slabs. Never mind. I don't need that. But I will do that. And, um, and then I think maybe this could just be like a regular block. Yeah, that could be a regular block. Um, this could be a regular block right here. Okay. And then this would probably, uh oh, 
15% battery. That's no good. That's no bueno. That's no bueno. Oh, I don't have any more. I don't have I don't have my axe anymore. So it's going to take a little while to fix this part, but I'll do that right there. And I'll also fix this part right here. Or do I want to do something like th I don't want to mess around with it right now because I don't have an axe. So we'll just finish it off and call it a day. So we'll place these like this, this like this, and this like this. And then the last block can go right here. And that is gonna be the roof for now. I'll probably change it a little bit, spice it up just a tad, but for now, uh, that is what you're gonna see uh, when you're over here, and it's gonna look glorious. So, what's next, you might add? What's next? Well, I have a little bit of a plan for what's next. Uh, so that's, yeah, I definitely wanna add a, 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 nice, a nicer roof to it, but for now, that's good. What's next would be the water. But also, what I want to do is I want to add um, some sort of a support beam. I, I don't know. Some sort of beam across the middle, and I'll just simulate that now. Um, so I don't know exactly how this is going to look, but we'll do some, sport, uh, some sort of support beam across the middle. We'll have the roof up there, and also, to, co to top it off, just to add the icing on the cake, you, what you got to do is you got to add a few of few fences. And, uh, do I, how do I make that? Okay, I, I have enough. I can make some spruce fences. It's not, I'll probably use other fences, but for now I just want to show you guys. So, spruce fences. Then what you do is you place the spruce fences like this, and it's going to look, oh, not like that, not like that, like this. And it's going to look like it's rope going down. That is the plan. I'll do the rest off camera, but hopefully you guys get a, sort of what I'm saying. So hopefully you get a little bit of what I'm getting at. Now, it's back to the Hobbit house really, really fast to get a few more supplies, and I want to start at least showing you guys what I'm going to do in the next episode, and maybe a little bit more. You guys can let me know what you want to see in the comments. Of course, like always, I'll look through, and I'll pick either the most liked or something I really like, and uh, I'll work on it for next episode. But I do have something that maybe is going to be a long-term project, kind of like... Kind of like how the church went. Remember when I built that church? I just started on camera one episode, and then I just did it off camera um, when I had free time, basically, for another five, six episodes. And, and then you guys saw the finished product, um, and you saw it evolving each episode. I think that's what I want to do with this build, so I guess I'll just show you guys what I want to do. Um, and I guess I'm going to... I'm just going to use these for example. I don't have the logs I need. I need to go grab some more. I, I'm basically completely out of wood. But I'll show you guys what I want to do. Also, I think I'm going to need a, a new a new tool. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Do I have any iron? I do have some iron, so I'll grab two of these irons. And uh, wait, do I have... I do have them. Okay, perfect. I thought I had sticks, and there we go. So, the iron hoe. Awesome. So, if you guys have seen ever, ever, if you if, if you guys have... Oh, and I, you know what? Maybe I want to get beetroots, too. One more thing. One more thing. There they are. Beetroot seeds. A whole lot of them, actually. I don't know how I have 32, but whatever. I'll take it. So, yes. If you guys have ever seen those rolling wheat fields, like where they just go up on hills and, and all sorts of stuff, and there's like a cool pathway through it, and there's scarecrows in it, that's what I want to build. This farm is cool, but it doesn't look natural, and it, like, I don't know, I don't know. I want this farm, I want the contained farms like these to be things like carrots and potatoes and uh, and beetroots, and I, I'll just change this one to beetroots really quick, um, and then I want the huge field to be a ton of awesome looking wheat, because wheat looks absolutely awesome when it's in massive fields that aren't really in fences, and they just go all over the place, and that's basically what I want to do with that hill right there. I want to make it a wheat hill, and it's going to be pretty cool, but it's going to take a little bit of time, and the main thing is going to, the main reason it's going to take time is because I want to build a massive windmill in it too, so it's going to be difficult, but it'll take my, it, 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 it'll be awesome, it'll be awesome, it'll be, it'll be well, well worth the time. For now, I just want to go ahead and replace all of this, and I'll put all the beetroots down, beetroot seeds, or at least as many as I can fit in here, and uh, I'll meet you guys over at the field. And literally perfect! I got exactly as many as I needed for that side. Do I have any... No, I don't. Okay, I don't have anything to put there. So I was looking to make sure I don't have any, like, uh, bone meal or anything to get a little bit more, but I don't. So that's fine. Uh, now, what I want to do is I want to, like I said, I want to turn this whole hill into an epic, epic wheat field. And I want to put one building up at the top. And I think, I guess I'll make it right here. I just want to make this, I want to clear it out just a little bit, just a tad. Clear out a tad of room here, a tad bit of space here. And this is where the windmill 
is going to be. The windmill is going to be here, and it is going to be fabulous. So, I guess I'll just place down the boundaries of it to give you guys an idea of what it's going to look like. But of course, like I said, I'll just work a little bit off camera every every day or two. And, and you guys will see exactly how it's going to unfold through every episode. It may be like up to episode maybe like 48. I, I'll guess I'll, I'll guess at 48 is when we'll finish this. I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, so here we go. I guess I'll start placing this down now. So how this is going to look is um, the windmill will go right here. It's going to be something like this. And then I think I'm going to need to go in, 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 out like that. I think that's how it's going to look. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. We got some visitors trying to make it a little bit difficult, huh? That's what you guys are trying to do. You're trying to make my build a little bit difficult to do. I see. Okay. Okay. I see. I see. I see. All right. <laughs> so, oh, jeez. Again, really? Is there like a, is there like a zombie party I, I, I wasn't invited to? Is that what's going on? Jeez. Okay. <laughs> so, um, that may be too close, actually. No, I don't think it is. I think that's good. And then we'll do this, and then we'll go in between, and then we'll like that. That, and then maybe like that, and then maybe in between, and then there we go, and there we go. And that is basically the base. Of course, that's not going to be up like that. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be the base of the windmill. So imagine this rolling hill with a lovely wheat all over the place, and then a nice windmill right there. That is is what I'm aiming for. Now, since I have a little bit of extra time, let's go kill some mobs, shall we? Oh, do I have a... Do I have a challenger, Mr. Enderman? Do I have a challenger? Get over here, Mr. Enderman. Yes! Oh my goodness, his eyes are red! His eyes are red because of the fire! Oh! Uh, zombie villager as well. I really need to change one of those over. I need to get Perry some friends. I, I really need to bury. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I'm on fire. Okay. Okay. This enemy's packing a punch. We got, him. We, got him. we got him. We got him. Perfect. 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 Is that it? Is that everyone? Everyone that wanted to fight me is now done? Light up this area so this doesn't happen again. I, I need to start expanding my territory. I haven't lit up this area, but it definitely needs to start being safer. It needs to be, it needs to be a safe place at night. So I'll start adding a few more torches here as I expand my territory, moving from the old swamp, old forest back there, into the brand new uh, territory of mine. I'm claiming all this territory. No more zombies. No more monsters. I'm claiming it all. At least for now. I, I'm trying. I'm trying. It's not really working that much. As you guys can see, I got skeletons in my church. I, I got all sorts of things. I got all sorts of things I need to fix. But hopefully that is good for today. If you guys did enjoy this episode, please go ahead and smash that like button. I'm sorry if it wasn't too entertaining for you guys. I am actually sick. I'm really sick. So... Wait, is this? Oh, the creeper is going to run away. How awesome is that? Yeah, I'm really, really sick. It's really a pain. Uh, so if the video did not come out as good as it usually does, that may be the reason why. And I'm very sorry for that. So hopefully you guys can keep that in mind. Send your well wishes. I don't know. Uh, wish me luck. I, whatever you want to do. Anyways, that's basically it. When you come back, this may be a little bit farther in completion. Anyways, that's all. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I'll talk to you all later. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.